Hey, come back here. I'm not finished with you yet. Game Wolf plays. Cosmos Cosmic Adventure, three of three. Here to be labeled Cosmo 3. Just to shorten it. Literally the only reason. I always put the full name of what I'm doing in the playlist title. In case that's ever important. Maybe for someone checking all the books. Don't know. I do know. I should have had my audio set up already, but there we go. I do know that this was a bit hard at first. But with the right planning and a little bit of trial and error... I got it all figured out. It's really not... I don't know. People think this game is hard, but... You know, it's really... I don't know. It's really, um... I think it's just more you have to figure out the intended way to do things rather than just go straight at it and hope for the best. So this first level, it looks like Poison Ivy in the background. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> what is all this? It's trees and crap. I even saw some other fruits that I didn't recognize or whatever the fuck is just regular collectibles. And I mean, that's cool. There isn't a new enemy. Like, we're still going to have those red foots again now. And plenty of them. There is like a new... I think there's a couple new obstacles. One that just shoots out fireball from the side. And another one that... There's just a spinny blade. So it's not too impressive, but also watch out for it. Because you'll be like... When was that ever coming in? Into my game stuff. But, yeah. I will still think about all the Cosmo things. And remember, if you're making mods of DOS games, I want to see your custom title screens. There's a bunch of Doom stuff with title screens, so it's getting the attention it deserves. And rightfully so. How have I been doing? Oh, I just need a few days because, um, well, our hot water's been out of it, and the moment we got fixed, I just spent some quality time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a trip. But, in between that, I've got some other stuff planned now. There's a lot of... A lo lot of more stuff you can expect. Um, I can sit you and tell me, Hey, go play Classic Mario World 3. I, I bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, truth be told, I want to do it, but there's one game I'm going to have to play. You settle it once and for all. Before I go there. I feel like when a game references another one, I feel like I need to play which references first, with the exception of a bunch of RPGs, <laughs> which doesn't keep ha which keeps happening. So, but it's unmistakable. Like I gotta like, i I'm putting all my time in once again now. It's therapeutic. You know, if you're just having a bad day, just don't just get a bathtub and just dunk yourself in hot water. It really is that easy. You might think it's not. You might think it's pointless, but... Here's something I learned. It has to do with how I play video games. You just gotta stick with it. <laughs> Don't give up after trying once. You keep doing it. Multiple times. I think people underestimate the value of practice, and I certainly have. Although, in my case, I undervalue the... The, uh... What comes stuff like this? What's the, uh... What's the word where you have to re-pick up what you've already learned? Like, like if you go to college and they, like, a remedial, yeah, it's like a remedial class. So you've already known all this, and then they're like, here, here's a class that reminds you what you, it's like, you need to be refreshed about what you know, otherwise you might forget. That's why you're gonna ask like a bunch of old people, it's like, hey, you remember how math works? They'll be like, what? Uh, who knows? I see we're starting early with the red foot nonsense. Good thing it wasn't too bad. This level is just a lot of big trees, and there's also a burger on this level. It's kind of a bastard to get unless you already know where it is, like myself. Yeah. It's not the leap of faith you thought it was. That was perfectly planned. Now the real hard part is how am I getting out of this? Oh! Just climb onto the edge! Hope there's no Smash Brothers character trying to, you know, push me off the edge. You know how much I like to be an edge hogger. Shadow the Edgehog, he is made in full of edge. Yes, I'm noticing a theme is red and greenness. So if you're Celtic, this is prob this shoutouts to you for all the Celts in your life. 
dun, 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 dun. This is the way of all the things. A lot of possibly unnecessary points. But I like I like sometimes seeing what's out there. You know. When there isn't so much of a hundred percenting of, of a level. I do want to spend some time, otherwise it might be too short. We can't be having that. None of that crap, Bozolas. Um, if you're watching Cosmo 3, I'm going to assume you've watched the first two Cosmos, so I shouldn't have to explain too much. Not that there's much to explain in the first place, with the exception of clinging onto the walls. That, that's really the only big thing you have to think about in this game, is clinging the walls. Like bombs? Yeah, sure. Jumping? Yeah. Climbing walls with suction cups for hands. It's not something that just comes up. And I'm surprised we haven't done something similar in any other platformer title to date. That I know about. You know, it's possible, like, Mario will eventually turn into a sort of thing. Like, in Mario Odyssey 2, let's say. He starts developing suction cups for hands. Who knows? Instead of Cappy, he'll be called Candy. Just replicates different hands. All the hands! And like the other two Cosmo games, I'll be doing two levels and a bonus level. I've, by this point, I've no longer cared about my star count too much, but I still want enough, at least 25, so that I have an easy way to refill my health and bombs. So, always go for the bonus. Always go for at least 25. And go for 50, because you have a better chance of getting the stuff you might want. Maybe. I don't know, I looked at those bonus levels this time, and they're kind of... eh. More interestingly is the bonus level music is different again, so I don't know what that's about. It wasn't like the second bonus level, just like, yeehaw! And I thought it'd be more like the first one, which is like carnival. But this more is more like, uh, who knows what's happening. Uh, and I've given up trying to read all the uh, globe things, especially that one, because I... I was thinking to myself, wait a minute, how would I get back up from that? Would it just be like a ha-ha... Haha, ha, dead end, Cosmo. Your cosmic adventure has come to an end. Does this mouth look familiar to you? People have seen Cosmo too. Hmm. Let me get in there real quick. Hmm. I love being eaten. It's not like that plant from the first part. No. We've gotten eaten by that thing. In episode two, so it's one of these again. All right. <laughs> since we, since it only occurred once in the last time, I could, I'm okay with having it a second time. And as usual, there's a bunch of ghosts in there, so I'm starting to think maybe he's the cousin of Tubba Blubba from the Paper Mario series, the first Paper Mario game. You don't really see him anywhere else, so. Ah, oh, we can have ghosts in the walls. We can also have the sounds of blood drops, just for, you know, background effect. Oh, yes. That is the way of all peepals. All the people that tell ourselves about that crap. Oh, I am so, like, refurbished. <laughs> now to refurbish the contents of the stomach. I hope you're not thinking about eating while watching this video. I don't know if that means you're going to be even more hungry or you're going to throw up, so... I'm not going to chance that. I don't want to influence your purchasing decisions based on your current feelings about food. Yeah. Sponsored by Food Incorporated. Selling all the best foods that everyone needs to eat. Now, <laughs> brought to you by Water.com. We sell water, probably. Actually, I should just check what Water.com is. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, let's look. Yeah, they just sell- they do sell water on water.com. How'd you get that lucky to own that website? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, they just- they sell water bottles, they sell water dispensers. My fucking god, maybe I should go to air.com. No, no, this- this joke was fine once, I'm not doing it twice in a row. I can't grab onto the bones though, guys. Just to remind you, can't grab onto the bones. You'd think this would not be an issue. You'd think bones could just be attached to with, like, glue, but I guess not. 
It's not an ordinary bone. Come to think of it, in like the bonus stages, you can't cling onto those walls either. If you've ever had the opportunity to do so. For whatever reason. I like when the platforms are made of sausages. I'm assuming that's what those are. How many hearts does this guy have? I'm counting like... Unless that's a colon. Who knows? <laughs> I want interpretations of what the hell I'm looking at in the background. Clearly organs. But in what way? What kind of creatures being made this way? Besides the fact that backgrounds in DOS games are just going to be repeating anyway. So, you know, I'm not going to assume this is a tessellating stomach before you ask. Stomachs don't tessellate. They regurgitate. Oh, it's Mr. Little Blue Ball who's slightly angry at me. Yeah. A lot of bottomlessness today in this game. Very bottomless. Just like the less bottoms, the more tops. I think I have a good amount of stars, but perhaps I get nine more stars, and we can be off to our very own star kingdom! Uh, I can't believe I guessed this. something as boring as water.com. I'm sorry, but I doubt someone's going to be looking up water.com and be like, yeah, that was the theme of this video. What's he even talking about? Does he want to sell our water? Yes, I'm an influencer that sells water. No. I'll go. I'll be fine with calling this content and me being creator, but I don't consider me influencer. Please, no. Like, that... That encourages a parasocial relationship I don't want you to have. Like, it's okay if you know me a bit, and I'm like, okay, I know you a bit, but, you know. Try to keep your expectations low, because I have categories of people who I prioritize over others based on um, time, and I guess other factors. Like, what do you look for in French? <laughs> Hey, Mr. Redfoot, I know that you're inside. I'm going to jump on your head when I get the chance. I can jump on this ghost. I figured out how the 50,000 points things works, by the way. You just have to keep landing on stuff without ever falling on the ground, and then you get the bonus. And it continues. Continues for as long as possible. Not bad. Way cool. Groovy. Insane. Gnarly. Outrageous. Guess I'm Aquaman today. Get ready! Come on. Step right up! Hurry, hurry! To Cosmos Cosmic Adventure 3 of 3 bonus stage! We'd like to say hi! Exclamation point to all our viewers at home! Be sure to ride the. the. Springboard into the stratosphere. We would say Cosmosphere, but we're not getting quite that high up, are we? Yes, I know my layers of sphere. Shut the fuck up. Hurry, all right, yeah. Yeah, I feel like if I had lived... If I would lived a hundred years ago, that would be my career. Step right up! Come to the... F come to the carnival, or... Something. Carnival? The fair? Either one of those things. Next time I'll be inside a computer circuit board. For whatever reason. Pretty cool.